was not. Why is the sloth blind? He does not have very much so he does not have very much weight once he's there. And he has a whole lot of frontal area. So there's a lot of area that creates drag that will help push him up. He's changing on toothless as he moves around. Whereas with the sloth, it stays about it stays about the same, so he flies a lot more stable. He starts to block the wind, which causes the object to come down. So if you look, we have the sea anemone and we have the googly ball. Because, because of all those little hairs that they have on, have on them, as they turn around and move around, they actually stay the same shape. Whereas, when some things like the toothless or some of the basketballs or things like that, where you can see the basketball, one of them is flying higher than the other. Even though the larger one, the purple and uh, the purple blue, is a lot more fucker area, it will not fly as much. Moves his arms in or go forward. Moves his arms out or go backwards. Think of how you go around. Change how the wind pushes you around. Yep, that's how he told. Yep, that's why he told you to do that so you could turn. Make less drag, go down. Be more relaxed. Be a little bit more tense. Create more drag. And go up. Oh. <laughs> it's sticky, and so parts of the water start to stick together, and they form drops. Are all the drops going to be the same size? No, they're going to be different sizes. So why are some of them going down and some are going up? Some of them have more mass. The larger ones have more mass and they will go down. The smaller ones, they have less mass and so they will go up. Now, how do we get the water? What's air made out of? Molecules. Molecules. And the molecules start rubbing together. And what do they cause when they rub together? Friction. And friction creates and heat will do what to the water? Evaporate the water. How fast is it going to have to move for the football to fly? 